Everyone who keeps coming in, there's some room up in here. Just fill in where you can. We've, uh, we've got a bit of a crowd in the back there. Um, this is our last presenter before the break. We have a couple more presenters after the break. And then don't forget about the music afterwards. We have some special musical guests as well. Um, but next, just come on in. There you go. Yeah. You can sit down on the floor or whatever. Just make yourself at home. Our next presenter is Jessica Brown. Who's amazing. Jessica is an artist, a designer, and a future television host in training. And if anyone's hiring a television host, here is your first. As a design educator, as a design educator, she wants to bring people to design through hands-on instruction by highlighting the goodness or stuff that people already have inside their homes and around their community. If she can show just one person how to reuse materials or use less or use locally, then she feels she has fulfilled her mission. To divert materials from the waste stream in order to produce the things that we want and need for ourselves using minimal to no toxins, resulting in little or no harm to self, local, community, and the environment. So, continuing our theme with old and new, here's Jessica. sure how to do it? Have you ever needed to build an object, like a table, a pot rack, or a lamp? Well, no need to worry. This is a DIY show unlike any other. <laughs> After watching other shows, I'll be feeling like, that was awesome, but I'm not a skilled craftsman. I don't have a wood shop, but no need to worry. Because um, let's just make that, I've got three rules. One, we're going to reuse material. Materials, that means looking around the house for things that you haven't been using. You're going to look in the basement. You're going to look in your neighbor's basement, your mama's basement, for things that have been long forgotten. And two, we're going to use tools that you would or should have at home already. For things that are a little too complicated and harder, we're going to source local talent. Here in Providence, as we know, we've got plenty of craftsmen, woodshop, welders, glass blowers, ceramicists, laser cutters, so we're going to help our economy. And three, it's got to be easy. So easy that my mom can do it. And that's how this whole thing got started. Uh, what's my next part? Okay. Um, so that's how this whole thing got started. So I'm going to use simple step-by-step -step instructions, clearly lay things out, and not use complicated jargon. So enough talk. Let's just make that. So the, the origin story, the way this whole thing got started is my, this is my mom, Cheryl, and this is my little niece, Elise, and she just bought a house at the age of 54 for her niece, not for her daughter. Um, <laughs> She needed to do some repairs, like put a door sweep on. She's gonna call a handyman, and I was like, "You're gonna have plenty more repairs. I want to empower you and show you how to make these things, even though I live far away." So, a little background is. Um, I hate trash. There's no need for trash. I want you to reuse your objects. This is Fox Point, and here was Trash Day. Plenty of objects that could be reused. So how do I tell my neighbors and my community, don't throw this stuff away. It's got more life in it. So from there, I went to RISD, and I did my thesis in ID, and I wanted to cut down on waste on RISD's campus. So I designed this container called Dish, and it's a reusable to-go container. So we're going to cut down on paper and styrofoam. It's got a barcode that's embedded in the plastic, so you check it out like a library book. You get it, you want another one, you return it, they clean it for you, no waste. Wow. Um, so, thank you. So, thank you. Um, so, not that going to these big box stores is horrible or anything, but it's just that everything they build now is for obsolescence. As we know, you build it, it's going to tear apart in two years. So, I want to get back to making things that you treasure and that you can do. Ah! Okay, so, uh, so don't go there. I want you to learn how to build things by hand. Like I said, we're going to use what's here in Providence. we got Kise Shadow! So you need things filled. We're going to, on the show, we're going to go to Kise. We're going to go see Bud at Precision Laser. We're going to go to uh, the Still Yard. Let's go to the school. To Rizzi, we're just, okay, so on each episode, we start off with levels of difficulties because it's going to range. We've got four steps. We've got um, the first 
first level so easy. A baby can do it. Uh, two riches is you'll get it, get a bead of sweat, but take your time because you can do it. <laughs> Three levels is pull out all the tools and set aside four hours, take a shot of whiskey. And four is look at the yellow pages because it might be a little complicated. So on every episode, like I said, it's got to be easy. We're going to have at least five steps or less. So for example, on an episode, you might take measurements, easy countertops. Uh, step two, you're going to get materials. Step three, lay everything out for a simple five and joy. That's so we can take your time and you see what step we're on. And if you need a pause or rewind, you've got these bookmarks. Okay, so now as they're on each step, I'm going to clearly lay everything out. So if I say these are your materials, I'm clearly showing you that these are the materials. So on the last episode, I needed a key holder and I built an eight track key holder because I've got plenty of eight tracks around. So I just laid everything out. I told you where I bought them, where I got them. At the end of each episode, it tells you the cost breakdown because I'm all about saving the Benjamins and I need to save, save, save. So I'm going to tell you how much my materials cost and I'm going to compare it to how much it would have cost at a store and tell you how much you put in your pocket. So, like I said, save money. So the format for each episode, uh, this is episode one, Kitchen Island. I show you the sketch of what we're going to make. I lay out everything like you see here and then we're going to build it. This is my production assistant, Michael Gore. Yeah. <laughs> This is episode two, Pot Rack. Again, I'll show you the sketch what we're going to make. Here you see we're building it, and then this is the glamour shot. This was built out of a window frame, actually a window that we found in his landlord's basement. We got some copper piping, chain, and hooks, and look how sexy that shit is. <laughs> this only cost us $31 compared to $120. And like I said, I needed a key for it. I had some eight tracks. I was like, Bill Diamond, I love it. So I just made it, it up. So for future projects, the next ones we got, my friend just got a house. She needs a chandelier, so we're gonna um, make a chandelier. I made that island. I need to make some bar stools, sunglasses holder, because I've got the collection. And it's not about just making things, but also about learning and instruction. So how to pick the right bits, how to read a ruler. This was 45 minutes for me and my mother. Um, so I want to. Use a power of social media to reach people because, like I said, eventually I want this to be a show. I want to pitch it to the road show and then to Oprah and then who knows. So, uh, so you can go on my website and there's a link there. You can go on the YouTubes. I've got three episodes up. Or you can go to the blog, let's just make that www.let's just make that dot blogspot.com. Um, so I want you to come here. I want you all to submit ideas. I want to know what you guys want to build. I want to know what you need fixed because you can be an episode. I want ideas. I want projects. What do you need to learn? Because we're going to put it up. I want to make a thousand episodes. I want to reach a thousand people. Thank you so much, Providence! <laughs>